Let's continue with our next phase. We're installing Arch Linux D and then Cinnamon on it, on it, and we have done phase two now. So we've rebooted and we are on the system, but there is also a personal folder and we can take a look at those codes and those scripts and see if any of those scripts is interesting for you. A lot of time has gone into it. Uh, if it can be of use, please do use it. So the idea of Arch Linux is always that you use the scripts and uh, since we are on Nemo, I'm gonna set my preferences straight away. I do not like these icons that are missing. <laughs> Done, some tweaking. So this little icon, that link icon, the search thing, all these things I use all the time, like this one. I want to open a terminal, but not in here because uh, we've done these guys, these numbers we've done. Now we're going inside personal and check out what we can run in here. Maybe another tip or tweak. I have added GNOME terminal to it because if you don't know it, you don't get the terminal. You don't, you, you don't see anything. Yeah, you think there is an error, but there is of course no error. You need to know that the word is preferred. Preferred applications. And you can always set in here that your terminal is, for instance, termite. So this is the GNOME terminal. And if you say, no, I'm going to use termite, then what you get is something else. So that's how easy it is, but um, well, it's there, the GNOME terminal for people who don't know it and start uh, using Cinnamon for the first time. So they have a terminal. Now, you check out what's in here and what these things do. Um, we'll go over them one by one. But 100 is going to install some personal folders that otherwise I have to make manually. And why do things manually if you just can run it and it's done and you just check inside just open it up with anything any uh, editor you like genie sublime text in this case atom is starting for the first time so we have to click all this stuff away and that's too much so i like atom because you can see how easy it is to navigate between all these things and it's all colorful you can make lots of extra packages. I've made tutorials about that. So where is it again? Settings view, install lots of packages, manage packages, manage teams, super. So it just creates the dot icons, the dot themes, dot fonts. That's what it creates. Otherwise I have to type it myself. The personal bookmarks is something really personal in the sense that this, this, this thing here is what will be a very long bookmark. I have on every system I have the same uh, look or, or um, well in this case a very minimal look I agree but I have of course the nemesis scripts later so this is what I think is important for you to know etc scale is what is our well uh, uniqueness in our distro everything we tweak and define and, and, and all the settings and the configurations that's why it's, it looks so beautiful from the start, is because it's in here. And these etc scale elements are actually copied over to your home directory when you install the ISO. But later on, when things become rolling and don't do an update, don't do um, a clean install, I mean, you get your updates in here. So what we do is Control A, Control C, go to your home directory, and we do Control V. As simple as that, apply, merge, apply, replace, and everything is up to date again. That's how easy it is to update things that come in your ETC scale. So, and the TMP is for builds that go wrong. So sometimes we do stuff and they tend to be in here in the temp folder, TMP folder, and you can take a look what things, um, what's going on there. So that's what we did with 100. At 200, sorry. And we go back, we go back, we go back, all the way back. Article Cinnamon, personal. 300 is for Firefox. But first, before running this, you must start Firefox once because it's now created a folder. And if there's no folder, it cannot copy to the folder. So first, run Firefox. And then this is for elements like in YouTube, input boxes. When you use a dark theme like arc dark it, you can't almost see 
the letters. It's, it's a light gray against white, which is almost unreadable. So with this little fix, we can do it. ZSH, I'm not going to install. It's a replacement for Bash. The fun is that we have uh, some theming in there. Uh, so it's a, there's a separate tutorial about that. But um, normally you should say, just don't install it. 500 is something very personal. Um, when we are on Arco Linux, we ha are used to the Ctrl Alt T. Yeah, okay, it's there. We're used to the Alt N for variety. Alt N for variety. Alt N, Alt N, Alt N, Alt N. Doesn't move a thing, but variety is installed. It's here. All right. So all we get is these things down there. So what this thing is, it's loading up all the keyboard shortcuts that I've created until now. Of course, you can make your own personal keyboard shortcuts and they are in here. It's a great tool. It says, well, if you have a keyboard shortcut here, you can create them and the keyboard shortcuts, add custom shortcuts, and then you go ahead. It's already on an arclinux.com. No, arclinuxd.com. Um, and then you can finally say if, if everything is the, the, the right way, you dump it to this file and next time you install Arco Linux Cinnamon or Arco Linux B Cinnamon, you just say load this again and then everything is back and all the work you've done is not lost. That's the idea of this script. So 500 <coughs> is going to put all my shortcuts there and they're there. So Alt N, Alt N should work now. Probably need to reboot something like that. Super F1, Super F2, Super F3. So all my shortcuts are working indeed. And uh, for variety, we'll just have to reboot. We can also install ConkyZen to the context menu. That's um, also a thing that will work after rebooting. And means if you press right mouse, right click, then you'll get here a reference to the Conky Zen. It's of course already here. You can use it, Conky Zen, but it's nice to have it as well in the context menu. So there it is. And this one we're not gonna run. It's very specific. We all have uh, the Linux kernel. When we install uh, Arco Linux, Arco Linux D, Arco Linux B, but if you want to have the LTS kernel, then this is your script. And after trying, you say, no, it's not better, it's even worse. Then you say, no, the LTS kernel has to go again, and then you get back the kernel. So that's the idea. If you need it, it's there. That's uh, about the personal folder. Maybe I can add one thing, maybe two things, maybe. Anyway, check out also the contents of AOR because there is more in here that we installed. Uh, Radio Trace not installed, uh, Sardi Extra Icons are not installed, uh, Skype is not installed, Stacer is not installed. So go through them. Uh, WPS Office, go through them. Lots of things are in there, we'll include more and more. And um, the AORDS will be installed since it is, this is distro specific. So those, those will be normally installed. And this is for the guys who are in phase uh, five, the Arch way installation. So Arch Linux installation, and then you have to trust the key from Eric Dubois and then so on and so on, all right? So these things I think will not work anymore. Uh, there was a recent change with Arch Linux for repo that's, that's uh, gone, I guess now. Okay, so that concludes our um, personal folders, meaning that's phase three for you. And next phase is phase four, which is explained in another video, and that's installation of Nemesis. So we can install more elements, elements that will never get to the ISO, but maybe that you would like to have. So let's move it here. So phase four is running the Nemesis scripts. It's for anything, really, as you can see. And if you click here, you see what you'll get. You'll get stuff like Discord, which is our way to discuss and talk to each, to each other, to with team members, but also with each other, and the Dropbox in sync, 
um, Radio Tray, Spotify, VirtualBox. An easy way to install all these things. So use them again, or reuse them again, and um, everything will be fine. We'll make a tutorial about that as well later on. And um, well, enjoy Arch Linux.